Okay, I'm gonna try some of these little mandarin oranges. They're an easy peel. I'm gonna try cutting them in a couple of different ways. And I'm going to do some of them in the food processor and just kind of gush them up. Cutting them in thirds and cut the little top off a little bit. So I've got segments. What about these are segments sliced in half? What about just the full segments? Well, that'd be interesting. I don't think it would ever dry. Yeah, you could just leave okay. a few on okay. in this corner here. Okay. Well, that'd be interesting because these are just whole segments. I don't think these will work at all. Okay, I made one line of them. I'm going to leave it near the other ones. Because I'm going to just try these few pieces cut this way and see how those work with this particular kind of orange. Especially these that are just the segments. I think those will fail. I'm going to put some of the little oranges, the mandarins through the food processor and gush them up a little bit. Hold your ears. I think yeah, I don't think it needs to be completely smooth. So I'm going to try it like that. So just kind of minorly gushed up. I should probably try different amounts of gush and see how that works. I think we'll gush them a little bit more than that does. Okay, so that's gushed more this time. A little over. Okay. Quit it. Okay, so that's going in the freezer for pre freezing. And away it goes. Not trying to place any blame here, but well, one of us forgot to make video of the little cutie oranges going into the freeze dryer, out of the trays and into the freeze dryer. Let the air in, and we'll check to see if this stuff is dry. like these whole segments I expect that these will probably have failed and not be storable yeah those are still moist on the inside and that's exactly what I expected with those it looks like you could probably go a longer amount of time and get those to work because they are getting pretty close but they're not storable. Okay, so I'm going to put those back in and give them more time. Put this back in. Okay, add more time. I'll check it tomorrow. Oh, open them up. And out of there. Interesting to see how the slices are. So we gave the mandarin oranges some additional time, especially for these segments that I hadn't cut open before. And now they're good. But they don't work well if you don't cut them. So those definitely did a good job. 
very good orange flavor, very sweet, and very dry. And with oranges and things like that, I want to get those in bags right away before they start absorbing any moisture. I'm going to bag them in fairly small amounts. So I'm going to put this in two bags. So I'm only going to put half of it in a bag. So it's a very small little snack. Wow, look at all the sugars on there. Jeez. And this one I'm going to keep out. It's the one that wasn't blended as much. So I'm going to uh, powder that some. Okay, it's very dry, very brittle, breaks apart very nice. Got a little bit more structure than I expected, so for my next project, maybe that will work. I'm going to take both of these and save them out for a little project. It'll be coming up soon and experiment with some. So we'll see how that works out. I'll just go ahead and heat seal them with oxygen absorbers in. And then reseal the bag real quick. Using the 500 cc oxygen absorber, then I don't have to worry about inventory. I can just have one size and use it for all the bags that I'm using. So I'm using mostly pints, quarts, and two quart bags. 